When I was in Iran, every morning before class, saying, Dead to Israel! And there's a very strange hatred about Israel. Hatred about Jewish people came to my heart. I went for military service and they sent me for extra training like a commander. I became addicted to drugs. I stopped all religious activities. When I finished military service, after that I found a very good job, business job, and uh, receiving good money. I left Iran just for a better life. My illegal journey started. I flew to Turkey, Istanbul, and from Turkey I flew to Bosnia. That was a very risky and dangerous way. When I arrived in England, I applied for asylum. I didn't have any good reason. I left Iran just for a better life. I decided to tell lie to government. Through the application form, I told them because I was persecuted Christian, life was dangerous for me, and send this document to the immigration office in London. I said to myself, Darius, if government asks you about Christianity, what do you have to tell them? I decided to go to church just to get information about Christianity. I went to the church, I heard all basic things about Christianity, about Messiah, about repentance, about cross, he rose again after three days and he's alive, he can change lives. That was, my brain was full of information, but my heart was still dark. When I received a letter from government for interview, I pick up the phone and I called my pastor. I'm going for interview. Could you come and help me what to say, what not to say to government? When he came, he said to me, Darius, you are not Christian. It is all lie. Yeshua asks you to stand on truth and truth will set you free. I became very angry and said, no, I can't. They deport me back to Iran. I went to my room, I locked the door, and I bowed down. I cried and shout, said, If there is any God, you show yourself to me. I can't continue anymore. When I said that, that moment, that moment he revealed himself. That moment he came. That moment he healed me completely from drugs. That moment. I gave my heart to him. He touched my heart and he gave me strength and power. That was a power just walking inside my heart. Because I tried several times before to give up the drugs, but I couldn't. But that time I asked Yeshua to start a new life and he did. And he said to me, Darius, I love you as you are. We did dirty things because I died on the cross for you. I went for interview in London and the officer said to me, we have just a couple of questions. I said to him, I'm so sorry about application form. I wasn't Christian in Iran. Life wasn't dangerous for me. I came to this country just for a better life. But two days ago, I gave my heart to Jesus. If you want to send me to Iran or anywhere, I am ready for that. He looked at me and said, you told lie? They refused the application form. In my court, the judge, he looked at me and said, Mr. Zarian, what did you do yesterday? Because my court was on Monday. I told him, yesterday I was leading a worship group. And he said, how did you do that? And I told him, I was reading Psalm 96. And he said, what Psalm 96 says? And he said, everyone in the, in the court just opened the Bible. Everyone just read Psalm 96. Sing a song for the Lord. Sing a new song for the Lord. 
proclaim his salvation. And that was a miracle. He said to me, you are accepted to stay in England. For a long time, I used to believe lie about Israel, about this nation, about Jewish people. I started to read the Bible from the beginning. And through their study, God gave me a passion and love for Jewish people. Because God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, Yeshua, Mashiach, saved my life, changed my life. I am one for Israel.